Hello, my name is Madeline Evely, and welcome to my MathCast. Today, our intended audience is fourth grade, and our learning objective is to recognize lines of symmetry given for two-dimensional figures, and identify line symmetric figures, and draw lines of symmetry. Our vocabulary for today is going to be symmetry and line symmetry. Starting with symmetry, which can be defined as the property of a shape that can be folded so that the two halves match exactly, and we're gonna look at this butterfly over here, which seems to be a symmetric shape because these two halves could fold over and match exactly. At line symmetry, which can be defined as a real or imaginary line that divides the figure into two mirror images, again, using this butterfly for reference, a line of symmetry would be a line drawn right down the middle of the butterfly. Now that we have gone over our vocabulary, we can start in example one. We're always going to start with the directions, and they read, circle the figures that have a correct line of symmetry drawn. So remembering from our vocabulary, a line of symmetry is the real or imaginary line that splits the figure in half so the figure can fold onto each other and create a mirror image. So here is our line of symmetry, and if we were to fold this part onto this part, they would match exactly. Therefore, this is a correct line of symmetry. So we're gonna circle part A here. Moving on to part B, we have our line of symmetry right here. Already, we can see that this is not in the middle, and this shape right here would be a triangle, and this would be a trapezoid. So if we were to fold this triangle onto this shape, it would not create an exact image or a mirrored image. Therefore, this is not a correct line of symmetry. Moving on to part C, we have our line of symmetry, which is right in the middle, cutting our shape in half. And if we were to fold this side of the heart onto this side of the heart, they would match exactly. Therefore, this is a line of symmetry. And finally, for part D, we're gonna look at this line right here. Again, we will notice that this is not exactly in the middle of our shape. And if we were to fold this shape onto this shape, they would not match exactly. Therefore, part D, does not have a correct line of symmetry drawn. Moving on to example two, our directions tell us again to circle the figures that have a correct line of symmetry drawn, and we're gonna start with part A. We see our line of symmetry, which appears to be exactly in the middle, cutting our arrow in half, and if we were to fold this part of the arrow onto this part of the arrow, they would match exactly. Therefore, this is the correct line of symmetry drawn. In part B, we have a one, two, three, four, five, a hexagon drawn, and this line appears to be cutting our shape in half. And if we were to fold this part of the hexagon onto this part of the hexagon, it would create an exact image. So we're gonna circle part B two. For part C, this line, although is cutting our shape right in the middle, if we were to fold this side onto this side, it would not match exactly. Therefore, this is not the correct line of symmetry drawn. And finally, for part B, we have a macaroni shape or a half circle. And if we, in our line of symmetry, is exactly in the middle. And if we were to fold this shape onto this shape, it would match exactly. Therefore, part D does have a correct line of symmetry drawn. Now for example three, our directions tell us half of each figure below has been drawn. Use the line of symmetry represented by the dashed line to complete the figure. In part A, we see a rectangle that is three, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we need to create another rectangle, three by six, off from this dashed line which is our line of symmetry. So this won't be perfect, but we have one, two, three, up six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and over three more. Now you can see for the most part, if I were to fold this shape over onto this rectangle, over this line of symmetry, it would create a mirrored object or the same shape. Now for this shape, this is going to be a little bit trickier, so we're gonna take it in pieces. This is our line of symmetry, and we see first 
about a rectangle, or almost a full rectangle, that goes up 1, 2, 3, 4, over 1, 2, 3, and down 2. So we're going to make that same object over here. I'm going to make a rectangle that goes down 1, 2, 3, 4, over 3, 1, 2, 3, and up 2, 1, 2. Now we're going to look at this. This goes in 1, 2, 3. So we're going to make that 1, 2, 3, and down 1, over 1. And then we're going to meet it with 3, 1, 2, 3. Looking at the shape as a whole, we can see that this line of symmetry is right here. And if we were to fold this image over to this image, we would get one clear shape. Therefore, this is a correct line of symmetry. Thank you for watching my math cast. My resources used was Engage New York and Math Vocab Cards. Again, this math cast was created by Madeline Evely.